Hi everyone, I'm going to show you the mask I did for my contest tutorial, so if you want to learn how to do this, keep on watching. Hi guys, I hope you're doing well. Uh, in case you haven't noticed yet, I'm a brunette. I, to cut costs, I tried to dye my own hair blonde. Disaster, and my only choice was to go brown. So, um, here we go, first time in my life. It's very interesting, I've always been a blonde. Um, but, hey, I'm trying to embrace the change. So, okay. Now to get to the tutorial. Okay, so I'm just going to take a lid and use it to get a perfect circle. And I'm going to look really silly right now, but whatever. And this is kind of nice because I can see through it at least. Alright, so I'm going to put it about right there. And just outline it as best as I can. I want my background to be really vibrant, so I made sure to really work this cake into my sponge so I'll have nice vibrant colors. All right, with the dark, um, with the blue on the top, because skies get lighter as they go down, we're just going to gently press this into the skin. Now I'm going to drag that pink to my temples. Now go under my eyes a little bit with the pink. I'm also going to put some pink on my eyes. You can use a brush if you feel more comfortable using a brush. Now I'm going to take some purple and I'm going to do it right in my crease. And this doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to be putting um, makeup over it. And I'm just going to drag that purple down here as well. Okay, so that's our basic um, base for the pinks and purples and blues. Now I'm going to make my eyes have that smoky look. Um, I'm going to be using some black. When you're using um, Diamond Effects as a base, you don't want the uh, paint as watery as you do when you're face painting. You want it to be really creamy, um, the consistency of like a, a cream eyeliner. So I've got that on my brush and I'm just going to put it on my eyelids to get a really intense color. Take a dry brush and blend that out a little bit so it's not quite so harsh. So here's the basic eye shape. Yes, it's very messy, but we're gonna clean that up with some powder. I'm using a Coastal, uh, a Coastal Scents palette and the information will be down below. And I'm going to use this, um, this color here and this color here. So, starting from the top, we're just going to set the makeup and have it blend to prettier colors. As you can tell, I'm not being super careful. Oh, got eyeshadow on my eye. I'm not being super careful um, because this is kind of like a, it's a messy kind of look. I don't want it to look incredibly perfect. Take my blending brush and uh, blend out that black even further. Okay, so that's the whole makeup portion of it. Super, super messy, because that's the way I wanted it. If you want it to be like perfect, then um, definitely take your time shaping it more, take your time blending it out more, be more careful of fallout, but I kind of wanted that grungy, messed up look, so I was not very careful at all. Step is the moon. And I'm going to be using this rainbow cake. I'm not sure what it's called, but I will put it down below. And I'm going to be taking the yellow and just a little bit of the orange onto my three-quarter flat brush. And with the orange on the outside, I'm going to trace the outside of my moon. And I'm going to make sure to go um, over that white line too, so that it doesn't show. I'm going to quickly blend in that yellow while it's still wet so that I don't have a really harsh line. This metallic white just has a really pretty glow. I'm going to kind of drag that down my nose.
So there's the moon. Now what I'm going to do is I want it to be glittery, so I'm going to put on some glitter now. Um, if you do want your moon to be glittery, then make sure you put it on before you do anything else because it looks better if the branches of the trees are not glittery. So I just want to do this first. And I'm just going to do this in the center and then down a little bit. Pretty. So now it's time for the fun part. We get to do the details now. Um, I'm going to do so the tree. I'm going to use a number four round brush. And the trick to doing trees are there are never any straight lines. And um, especially if you're doing like spooky Halloween trees, try to make the lines jagged. Sorry if I look down. I have a picture for reference. This was my inspiration. So I'm going to have the trees curve up following the lines of the face and then end in a point around the top. And the same thing over here. Fill it and in. Blend it down. So it just ends softly and not abruptly. I'm going to do some of the branches. You want them to kind of go all different directions. And you want them to go into the moon. Kind of push your brush and pull your brush to get different um, widths and um, curving action. Now I'm taking a number one brush and I'm going to do the little tiny branches. Adding them here and there until you feel like you've gotten enough. I think that's pretty good, so now I'm going to add my bats. I'm going to stick with this little brush and just put them wherever I think would be attractive. So I'm going to put one kind of sideways right here. Just going to flick my brush down, a little flick up, a little flick up for the ears curve, and flick down, and flick down again and again. Same thing on the other side. Curve up, flick down, flick down again and again. A couple smaller ones in the background, like they're farther away. So I'm going to do, <clears throat> excuse me, a couple stars in the background. And I'm going to use some graffiti glitter, glitter gel, sparkle glitter gel. And um, just put some silver dots here and there. But pretty sparkle. So I hope that you guys really liked it. I hope that you have a busy um, active Halloween season, and I'll try to get some more Halloween videos out for you soon. Thanks, everybody. Bye.